When you're done playing bassoon, it's time to take it apart in reverse order and do a little bit of uh, care and maintenance. So the first thing is to protect your reed. Your reed needs to go in a case where it can dry thoroughly, otherwise it might grow some uh, moldy grossness. So there are special cases, reed cases for double reeds. So I'm gonna put mine in here. Yours might have come in a tube or kind of a hinged case. Make sure that there's airflow so that the reed can dry. Next, I'll take out the bocal, put it back in the case. Take it out with a twisting motion. All the parts with cork should be um, thoroughly greased so that they move correctly. And I'm actually gonna unclip my, I'm gonna unclip my seat strap so that I can kind of move this around the way I need to. The next thing I'm gonna do is actually take a, uh, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna take off the bell. So you need to push down the bell key so that it's lifted up from that bridge key. I'm holding on mostly on the wood so I don't bend any keys and put the bell back in the case. Uh, next, I will take off the long joint, the one that sticks up more than the others. I'm holding on mostly on wood. And if you've cork greased this, then you shouldn't have any problem just slowly twisting it out. All right, long joint goes back in the case. Now it's time for the wing joint. Best place to hold is kind of in this wooden curve because that gives you a lot of space where you're not going to crush any keys. Slowly twist that out. It goes back in the case right next to the long joint, and now you have the boot left. Now, all of these pieces may have moisture in them, and the boot, you may even be able to pour some out. So you're going to take a bassoon swab like this and run the weight that's at the end of the string through that part of the instrument, and this is gonna help you remove any moisture on the inside that might damage it or make things kind of grow when you don't want to. So you run it through there, you run it through the boot, and to remove water from the vocal, you actually blow through the cork side. Make sure you don't have any drips in there. Store all of your accessories and your reeds, and you can get rid of that reed water, and you're done.